Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make pads like the ones in the track Words Worth by Linsman. So this is the original track. And this is the pad we're going to be making. This pad is really cool, even if we play it on top of the track. And for example, if we add something like an auto pan, sounds really nice. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have the initialized patch. And we're going to be playing an E minor 7. Cool. So now let's set up our oscillator. So let's just turn on the sub. Set it on sub wave. Do the same with B. Then add a lot of unison into these oscillators. Let's boost one octave on oscillator B. And then let's run everything through a filter a 24 decibel per octave filter, like this. Let's bring the volume down. And then let's map an LFO into the cutoff of the filter. Let's set it to two bars. And then let's create a shape that is smooth and adds some movement into the sound, like this. That's perfect. We can always play with the amount of modulation. Awesome. And now let's go into the effects. Let's have an let's turn on the hyper dimension. Let's add an EQ. And then with this EQ, let's boost a frequency. Bring the Q down and let's map this into the frequency of this EQ band. And we can use this to add more movement into the patch. Let's also set up another bell just to boost some of the highs. There you go. Then let's add a phaser. Let's bring the frequency all the way down. There you go. Let's add a chorus. We're just adding layers and layers and layers of movement into an already good sounding pad. Then let's just add a multivan compressor. Boost the release. And then add some gain. Next, let's add some reverb. Perfect. And now let's jump into some post processing. Okay, so for post processing, if we play this sound with the track, it already sounds good, but there's one thing that we can do, and we can add an EQ and filter this atmosphere a little bit lower. And maybe boost the mids. Yeah. And we can add something like an auto pan. And with this auto pan, what we can do is we can put the mix all the way up, bring the face all the way down, and then modulate the amplitude of the overall sound with this. So let's just set it at 16 notes. Let's move the offset to 180. So it's in sync. And then let's mix this effect down. So now if we play this on top of the track. That's the sound that we get. And now to make this more of your own, you can always program different movements. And play different chords. Like this. Or maybe like this. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to Preset and the Project Files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.